welcome back part three here at Rugby AM and we've got the Birkenshaw boys behind us. Yeah! <laughs> boys, have you had a good weekend? Yeah! Are you going to come back again? Yeah! Are you going to win? Yeah! That's what I like to hear. Winners are grinners and uh, from one winner to another. Uh, this is Tom Briscoe, your teammate, who's, who's had a bit of a dodgy injury, Jonesy. He has had a bit of a bad shoulder, but he's recovered him well and uh, good on him. he come down here, a bit like me, I'd love to have been playing on weekend. Unfortunately, I couldn't, so I thought, what's the next best thing I can do? Go and watch Rugby League and go support these young kids. And that's exactly what Tom Briscoe did, so good on him. Right, this is Tom Briscoe at the weekend, right here, Butlins. Right, we're down at the Rhinos Challenge here on Rugby M. Fantastic weekend event, joined by England and Leeds Rhinos star, Tom Briscoe. Tom, how are you? Very good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, mate. It's a great weekend for kids. Now, I know you've, you've been injured at the moment. First and foremost, what's the injury news? How are you doing? Uh, I'm about halfway through now, so uh, the injury news is it's getting better. So that's a good thing. Uh, about five or six weeks out, yeah. And it was just a bit of a, a, bit of a nothing, wasn't it? Yeah, th looking back at the footage, uh, I think if anybody else had done that, it would have been unlucky for me to, to get injured um, with the seriousness that it was, really. Well... On the positive side, you've uh, obviously got a bit of family time, you've got a new baby. That was yep. a bit, how, how are you finding being a dad? Oh, it's brilliant, yeah, I love it. Um, coming down here, obviously, is is something different for him. Yeah. Uh, I think he's a bit shocked with how, how noisy it is, but <laughs> no, he's, he's loved it and loved uh, spending time spending time with him. And the Rhinos Challenge, a great event for kids. There's uh, 75 teams here playing this weekend. Um, how do you f feel um, playing at events like this? is good for the development of young kids playing rugby league oh it's massive uh speaking earlier and saying that there's teams from all over the country so it'd be, it's great uh, exposure for the game and for for different parts of the country to play to play each other as well i think when you're in amateur you just get to play the teams around you and maybe a couple of different teams um in the circumference of where you live but no coming down to something like this I think massive credit goes to the Leeds Rhinos Foundation and, and for the ESF events it's 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 pretty incredible that they've set up this many teams and, and got it organised really. That's what I've really liked about it, the fact that um, you could be the king of your local area, you come here and you play a team like Blackbrook <laughs> and they smash you off the park, there's some good teams here. Yeah there is and like you say any team that's coming down here and, and thinking they're the best in, in their local group uh, to come and get a bit of experience and, and exposure to different teams and I suppose I'm not sure but I guess different teams from different parts of the country play different rugby as well so I'm sure they'll get to play different styles of rugby as well. Lastly you're you're actually our fishing champion our league of mania champion um, how about this year are you coming back this year to defend your title? I definitely am yeah I'm coming back to, to hopefully win it again. <laughs> right we'll see you there mate thank you for coming down. Cheers thank you. Get it's back quick. Good to see you. Right welcome back to part three of Rugby AM and we've been going around we've seen the Skirler boys we've seen the Birkinshaw boys and right now we've got the Warhead boys. Yeah! Now, wow. Waterhead is a, a club steeped in history, Jonesy. It is. It's almost an adopted Yorkshire club, isn't it? Uh, Kevin Sinfield, Barry McDermott, players obviously like Paul Scofield, some magic legends that have come through Waterhead Sneed. and ordered themselves. Sneedy. Big O'Carroll. Big fatty O'Carroll. Big O'Carroll over there, a uh, witness. That's some really good players. And I'm sure right here, we've got some stars of the future, the next generation. There's definitely the next generation in this room, Simon. Fantastic, yeah. Uh, obviously, Sydney and people like that, great kicking history and this week to, to get into the magic weekend focus we've been up to Newcastle on the time got three Newcastle legend footballers against three of the best kickers in Super League Why, lad? kicking balls off the time bridge into the river and to see who's the most accurate who do you reckon won? I haven't got a clue mad as old boots they are mad as old boots <laughs> let's have a look let's have a look this is the boys on the time John, something a bit different today uh, on the banks of the River Tyne. Just tell us what's going on. Um, yeah, there's something a bit different, right, actually. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Uh, the brief was we're kicking balls at bigger balls that are floating on, in the river. So, um, essentially five targets that are really intimidatingly quite far away. We've got to kick footballs and rugby balls to take those targets to raise money for charity. Um, we're here with First Utility today. And, 
lucky to be down here with some, with some Newcastle legends, um, John Beresford, uh, Rob Lee and then Peter Beardsley's on his way. So, you know, we're uh, looking forward to it and hopefully it's a bit of rugby league versus football. Um, our our uh, combined age is much less than theirs, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to whip us on the uh, football stakes. Yeah, football players are always the best, aren't they? That's why I've heard. Rugby players might be look, look fit, but they're actually not. So, uh, uh, no, be, the, the guys, I've uh, just seen the guys, they, they, they look very fit. Um, we've got myself and Peter Beersley and John Burris and uh, not as fit as we used to be, so uh, we'll, we'll see. You know plenty about this, uh, this city's sporting appetite uh, and, and the atmosphere, I guess, that's created in St James's Park by those sport-loving people. Uh, just tell us a bit about that. Uh, listen, St James's Park is a, is, a, is a fantastic place, not just for football, uh, for all sport, as you say. Um, when, when it's, I, I, there was no better feeling than playing in front of 52,000 people at St James's Park for Newcastle United. And, and, they love their sport and uh, it'd be a great weekend and, and I'm sure they'll turn out in their droves to, to watch it and uh, what they do love is exciting e exciting sport. They like to, you know, when I played, they we always played attacking, exciting football and they, they, lo they love that and uh, yeah, if the rugby can uh, emulate that then, then they'll love it, yeah. This, this kind of place, it'll, 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 it drags people in and everybody loves a good time and I think it'd be a fantastic event. They just, they just want, they just want to see something, you know, be successful, at whatever it is, uh, and they'll embrace it. Um, and I, as I say, I, I think it'd be, a, it'd be a brilliant event. And I, and I think, hopefully, when, when people see the reaction, I mean, you're going to have the supporters coming from all around the country, but you, they'll, they'll, I think they'll be surprised in just how good a time they'll have in Newcastle. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The atmosphere should be, it should be absolutely unbelievable. Uh, definitely. Uh, a game I'm looking forward to be, to, to be involved in. I think Newcastle likes it's sport in general, a sports mad. Um, people, you know, the, the guys up here. It's interesting to see viewing figures for Sky Sports when the rugby league's on here. You know, you always get a comment that they're watching, you know, there's a few cans on a Friday night watching watching the rugby league live. So, so we know the North East is, is, is an area that's got um, rugby league in its blood. Um, we, we've just got to get it pumping a bit more, I think. Oh, definitely. No, I'm not really into uh, uh, the soccer football side of it, but. Uh, just live about 10 minutes away from the, the Newcastle United ground and uh, you get, you know, the way Newcastle United are doing uh, right now, you know, not that brilliant, but they still get 30, 40, 50,000 in there and it shows how great a, a sporting city it is and, um, you know, that's what we're looking at building um, Newcastle Thunder uh, to, to the next level. Witness have uh, already put a lot of support into to the Newcastle area with the, the shirt for uh, the Bobby Robson Foundation. And, just give us an insight how, into how you see that going at the moment. Yeah, it's going good so far. Um, we're just nearly short of raising £15,000 for the charity now, which is uh, excellent. And uh, it's just our way of showing our appreciation, really, to the town as a whole. How much are you looking forward to, to playing up here? Obviously, a, a great sporting city. Yeah, it's going to be good, isn't it? Uh, it's good the fact that Rugby League is trying to breach out into new areas. Uh, Newcastle have just started their own Rugby League team now, which is good, and they're going well. So it's good to get out there with Ben Etihad now, which, is, which has been great. And now it's time to, uh, it's more of a chance for the fans as well to come down and experience something new and experience St James Park, which I can imagine is going to be lively as ever. Welcome back to part three. It's a fantastic show so far, Jonesy. Outstanding mate, it's great to see all these young people coming into this room, getting ready to come up here, get exalted, get the rewards for all the great effort and the enthusiasm, more importantly, that they've put into this weekend. And it's a real pleasure and an honour to be here. It was great to see the boys doing the press-ups, getting involved. We've got a kick-up still to come and the kicking challenge on the time as well. Fantastic. Stay tuned because after the break, all these people are getting the trophies, the room's going to be full and we're going to have a bit of fun and games right here at the Rhinos Challenge. <laughs> 